The Range Rover Evoque is, is something that's all new for Land Rover. When we were putting together our plans of how we wanted to introduce this vehicle to the United States and to the world, uh, definitely one of our goals was that we wanted to reach new people. In fact, our goal was to attract as many as 75 to 80 percent that had never experienced or considered a Land Rover before, and we've been successful in doing that. We work with our clients to take their marketing objectives and understand how best to communicate with our consumers. And that's important in today's uh, media world because increasingly the way the message is delivered influences what you can communicate. And I think with Apple and iAd, that's a really good example of that being the case. Apple walked us through the process in terms of how we would target people. They are literally looking at the types of apps that people are downloading. They're even looking at the different music genres that people are downloading. When you have an all new product like the Range Rover Revoke, there were so many different things that we wanted to communicate. The first section that I really like is the design section. And just the way that you're able to configure either a five door or a coupe and change the body color and change the roof and change the wheels, I think is a real immersive experience, a fun experience. The other section I think that was just really outstanding was what we call luxury. You get to look at what a Range Rover Evoque looks like using the iPad or your iPhone and move it around so you're able to look at the dashboard. You're able to look at the back seat. Someone said, what if we provided a CGI asset interior 360 view of the car? Could we take the iPad or the iPhone and put the consumer in the car. What I loved about it was they didn't say no. The engineers took it as a, um, a challenge. What was great about the Apple team is that they kept coming back and saying, yes, we can do it. Yes, we'll figure out a way. And then look at that panoramic moonroof. And then up there you can see a little constellation of the Range Rover Evoque. Our launch campaign was all about demonstrating the power of presence. It is a vehicle that has presence. It stops you. It's magnetic. It pulls you in. And we demonstrated that through this campaign. We were delighted with the results of the IAD. I think there is a difference between someone sitting on their couch absorbing that 30-second television ad and someone perhaps sitting on that couch but actually engaged in their iPhone or their iPad. You're involved in that experience. You're using gestures to find out more about that vehicle. So I think there's definitely higher attentiveness with something like an iAd as opposed to a television ad. On average, people spend nearly 80 seconds every time they engage with the ad. In the media landscape, that's phenomenal. Here, somebody actively went in, stopped what they were doing on their phone, and said, I'm going to engage with the brand, and I'm going to play with it, and I'm going to explore the capabilities that this vehicle has. So for us, that's a fantastic result. You know, for a long time, mobile wasn't a platform where you could really tell a story and build a brand. But, but now the opportunity is there to do that. And, um, you know, I think for the Range Rover Evoque launch, we definitely did that.